We all heard of CRISPR the gene technology, but have you heard of prime editing? Recently, MIT and Harvard researchers developed a new gene editing tool called prime editing. So how does it work? Like CRISPR, prime editing still uses Cas9 enzymes as the gene editing scissors. However, the Cas9 enzyme is modified to cut only one strand of DNA instead of two. This modified Cas9 enzyme is called the Cas9 nickase enzyme, which is fused with the reverse transcriptase enzyme. The reverse transcriptase acts like a pencil by writing complementary DNA based on an RNA template. It's great we have our Cas9 scissors and reverse transcriptase pencil, but the two enzymes don't know where to start editing within the DNA sequence. This is where the peg RNA comes in. The peg RNA acts like a blueprint made up of multiple components. It contains a guide sequence that tells Cas9 where to start cutting, the template sequence that contains the new insertion or alteration, and the primer binding sequence that tells the reverse transcriptase where to write new DNA. Together, the Cas9 nickates, reverse transcriptase, and peg RNA form the ultimate gene editing complex. After the peg RNA uses the guide sequence to bind at the correct spot, the Cas9 nickase snips a nick on the complementary strand, creating a flap. This is where we need our pencil. The peg RNA binds the primer binding sequence to the DNA flap, and the reverse transcriptase writes in the new DNA sequence next to the binding site. The edited DNA sequence is incorporated and finalized by the cell's cleanup crew. But wait! there's still one unedited strand left. The cell's cleanup crew could either change this unedited strand to complement the edited strand or revert the edited strand to its original form. To preserve the edit, an additional piece of RNA directs Cas9 to nick the unedited strand, causing the cell's cleanup crew to rebuild the strand based on the edited strand as a template. Prime editing allows for versatile repairs like inserting or changing DNA sequences with better accuracy and less damage compared to CRISPR, and scientists continue to explore its ability to potentially cure diseases like sickle cell disease, Tay-Sachs disease, and cystic fibrosis. While its ethics remain debated, breakthroughs like prime editing are a step closer to improving the lives of millions in genetic research.